Hey everybody, welcome to Cakes World. Today we're gonna make a family favorite. I used to cook this in the oven. It's a potatoes and smoked sausage. Today I'm gonna vary it up a little bit. I'm gonna try something a little new, so we're not really sure if it's even gonna work, but we're gonna try and add some chicken to it because although we love the smoked sausage, the chicken is obviously gonna be a healthier option for us. So, um, we've got everything ready to go. So the ingredients are um, an onion uh, chopped up, not, not fine chopped, but chopped uh, potatoes. And I've got probably about six potatoes here and I've cut them in half and then cut each half in a quarter. And I've got um, chicken and then I have the smoked sausage and uh, my smoked sausage is already cut up. I have two different varieties, um, which is why one of them is cut with a straight edge and the other with a on a diagonal, so that way we can tell at a glance uh, which ones are hot and which ones are not because the diagonal ones have the jalapenos. And then the last ingredient is a slap your mama. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, combine all of these ingredients uh, into a bowl and then I'm going to season them with the Slap Your Mama and some pepper and um, toss them all together and then we will put them into the Instant Pot. Okay, so I've got all the ingredients in a bowl. Uh, pro tip, use a little bit of the uh, press and seal. I love this stuff. And you can mix everything up um, and then take the press and seal off. and you can see that everything is coated and ready to go. I'll probably still go ahead and add a little bit more of the Slap Your Mama because we like the spice. So we're just going to pour that in. Right there. Add a little more spice. And I'll be honest with you, I don't measure it. I just sprinkle until my ancestors tell me that it's, that it's good. So again, adding a little more spice. All right. Then our pressure cooker obviously needs liquid. So we're going to add our cup of water. Okay. Because the chicken is cut up in bite size, um, cubes, um, it doesn't, it's not going to take very long to cook. So we're doing 10 minutes. That should give the potatoes and the chicken both the time to cook. So we're going to put on the lid. Make sure that it's to sealing. Pressure cook. Adjust the time to 10 minutes. And we are ready to go. We'll see how this little experiment turns out. If you see the video, it turned out pretty good. If you didn't see the video, we probably ordered pizza. Okay, our, our machine has just gone off. We're gonna go ahead and release the pressure. Okay, we're waiting for the pin to drop. Should drop momentarily. You'll hear it when it does. And there goes our pin drop. Okay, we're not sure how this is gonna taste, but it smells delicious. I've made two versions of this. Um, again, some of us like the spice and the grandkids not so much. So their version has all of the same ingredients, the sausage, potatoes, onions, um, and the chicken, and it's seasoned with the season, season salt. And then our version um, has the, all the ingredients and it smells delicious. I think it turned out really well. We're going to serve this with uh, some fresh green beans from uh, Bountiful Basket that are also being cooked in another instant pot. And um, so it's a three pot night at the uh, at a Cakes World. Hope everybody has a good night and we will see you soon.